My name's Ryan Vickers. I race in the British Superbike Championship. I've been riding a bike since the age of three and a half years old, and I just love riding motorbikes. It's just awesome. The biggest thing that's just like sums up superbike racing is somewhere like Brands Hatch, where you're absolutely flat out coming into Hawthorns down the hill like you're wheelie and all you're trying to do is stop the thing wheelie and then you're braking extremely hard into a, a hard uphill and it's just such a fast corner where the, the rear's coming away from you and then you're getting on the gas and accelerating hard up the hill and again wheelie and again and then you're braking again into the next corner it's just like it just explains British Championship racing where you just it's just one thing after another and it's just really really exciting. I want to ride on the road again, um, I mean have my CBT when I was 16, really really enjoyed it. It was a great way for me to get out, learn how the road works and just understand it before I did my car license. The reasons behind me wanting to do my CBT again and get my, my full bike license is just so I can enjoy going out and riding bikes on the road. It's just nice to be able to, to go to places and just have a different experience um, traveling really. It's just a nice way to be very involved with the terrain and being on top of mountains and stuff like that and enjoying the enjoying the scenery. It's going to be a great day, I'm really excited to, to do it again. I mean, um, I've done it before so I, I, I'd like to be pretty confident that we might, um, we might get through it again, but i um, really excited to ride the new Kawasaki Z125 and do the, and do the training. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm one of the instructors here at Shires Motorcycle Training. I'm doing a CVT for Ryan today. I know Ryan is a BSB rider. He's got plenty of bike experience, plenty of machine control. Mainly today we're going to be working on dealing with the roads, dealing with other traffic, road positioning and, you know, using mirrors and indicators and things. So, so far today, we've gone over all of the safety aspects, all of about the controls of the bike, and just all of the basics of how you put the bike on and off the stand. And then we've done some basic maneuvers around the, around the cones and stuff. When we come back this afternoon after lunch, we're going to be going over some more skilled maneuvers before we then go out onto the road. Ryan's doing really well. As expected for a racer, the machine control is, is top notch. The next thing we've got to do is start incorporating our observations into the manoeuvres that we're doing, get them used to riding around as if we were on the road. Hopefully it all comes together nicely. Awesome day all in all really I mean really enjoyed it from when we first got on the bike to, to when we got out on the road and we did uh, we did the full two hours which was really good fun I did the first hour in the front of the group uh, which was really cool I mean it's quite busy out there because it was about five o'clock so it's actually really good to be constantly looking around and being aware of what's going on it was really good enjoyed it yeah I think we did quite well I mean um, we were just uh, checking our blind spots all the time making sure we we're indicating and position on the road was correct and things like that and um, tried really hard to make sure it was right so I think we did um, I think we did a decent job I want to progress on and do my my A2 license now I'm old enough um, and get a bigger bike on the road I mean it and even just riding out there on the little Z125 was just awesome fun like it's such a great bike man it's given me that bug just want to get out there and ride on the road again it's not the same as in speed sense but like concentration and things like like that you're concentrating a different way though obviously you're not looking behind when you're on a race bike and and things like that and, the, and you're not really looking for anyone else um, you're just concentrating on going forward you are concentrating just as hard because you have almost more in some senses because you've got to, you've got to be aware of what's around you and actually what more of what's on the road as well like there's a lot more potholes and drain covers and all sorts of things dirt on the road oil uh, that you have got to be careful of so it's um yeah it's pretty full-on with concentration uh, well, eventually I'd like a bike, a bike on the road, like a, a big bike, like a thousand. Uh, just go and do a bit of touring and stuff like that. But I also, for like current times, I want uh, like an enduro bike to be able to go and do green lane in and stuff like that. As Norfolk, where I live, is uh, really, really good with it, the forest around. Let's go for it. I mean, um, Bennett's have got a link that you can go to and just to give you an idea of all the stuff that you need to, just to, to go through with it. And I think that it's just such, a, such an easy way of uh, getting into it. There's no 
no pressure. I mean, you're starting like a car park. There's no one watching you. It's like, it doesn't matter if you make a mistake. You're there to make a mistake so you don't make it on the road. And it's a dead chilled environment, which is really nice. Um, and also, when you're on the road, you've got someone talking in your ear, telling you where you've got to go. And if you are doing something slightly incorrect, they'll, if it's dangerous, they'll stop you. But if it's something that you can just think about next time you do something, then you'll be told as you're going around. And it's, um, it's easy. I mean, there's no pressure on going fast or anything like that. You ride at your own pace, and it's um, yeah, it's really easy to get into, and I recommend it to anyone.